the word of God that I felt so inspired to speak to you today is recorded in Matthew 13 and also in Mark 4 and also in Luke 8. It talks about the parable of the sower. Jesus gave this parable to the, to the people, to the crowd. And then later on, the disciple asked him, Why do you speak to the people in parable? And this is what he said in verse 11. Because the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you, but not to them. The secret of the kingdom of heaven. But when I first read this, this verse, I felt like, God, God, this seems like unfair. God, it seems like you are taking side. But let's continue reading it. Whoever has will be given more, and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. This is why I speak to them in parable. Though seeing, they do not see. Though hearing, they do not hear or understand. In them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. I want you to listen to this carefully. You will be ever hearing, but never understanding. You will be ever seeing, but never perceiving. For this people's heart has been callous. The, people, the people's heart has been hardened. The, the heart of the people has been unfeeling. It's literally not because God doesn't want to give them abundant life, not because God doesn't want to give them the result of what God wants to bless them with, but it depends on their heart according to this parable. It depends on their heart. When their heart is hearted, it is very hard for God to give them. Even though what God wants to show it to them, they cannot see. They hardly hear with their ears, and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise, listen, they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn, and I would heal them. So God's desire, He still wants to heal His people. God's desire still wants everybody to have abundant life. But it is the secret of the kingdom of God that people have to open their hearts. If they keep their eyes closed, if they keep their hearts hardened, they cannot receive what God wants to give them. They cannot receive the fruit from the seed that He wants to give them. And I want you to listen to this. But blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. For truly I tell you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it. And to hear what you hear, but do not hear it. Listen then to what the parables of the sower means. This is Jesus, what Jesus said. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their heart. This is the seed sown along the path. So Jesus starts telling them, the seed is the word of God and the soil is the heart. God gives the seeds, and the seed has the capacity to grow. It has nothing to do, it has nothing wrong with the seed. But the fruitfulness is depend on the soil. Let us continue to read it. The seed falling on rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word at once, receive it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When troubles 
or persecutions comes because of the word they quickly fall away brothers and sisters in life there are gonna be troubles in life there's gonna be some sort of persecutions but God want us to root in his word God want us to dip down to deepen the meaning of the word of God so that when our root is deep when persecution comes when difficulty comes we are still able to live we are able to continue to stand strong the seeds falling among the thorns refer to someone who hears the word but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke the word making it unfruitful you see it's not the word of god that is not fruitful it's the circumstances or the desire of the heart or the worriness that choke the word of god to be unfruitful but the seeds falling on good soil refer to someone who hears the word and understand it this is the one who produce a crop yielding a hundred sixty or thirty times what was sown brothers and sisters when we read the word of god when we start praying according to the word of god this is sometimes what we feel like <clears throat> we feel like god i want the fruit god i want to enjoy the fruit god i want to see i want to taste the fruit but what god has given to you and i equally is the seed and sometimes the seeds look very uninteresting it's like you don't want to eat it some seeds when you look at it it's just like ah uh, can it really create what it meant to be yes it can a lot of us we want to enjoy mango and this is what we want but god wants to give us this because in this there are potentials it's like god has put some sort of coding into the seed already once it falls on the ground on the right soil it will becomes a big tree that produce so many fruits and those fruits can continue to produce fruit because they have multiplied the seeds this is what god wants to give to you and i some seeds are tiny this is the jackfruit seed this is another wild fruit seed right here it has very big trees very very big and very very tasteful very good and some of us when we look at this seed we may not be wanting to do anything with it it doesn't look interesting to us oh well but if you see the fruit of it you will like it durian this is the durian meat and this is the durian seed the taste is good god has been giving seeds to sower god has been giving seeds to all of us through his word i would like to encourage you that god wants to give you life abundantly god wants you to taste the result the fruitfulness of the seed from his word of what he has already been giving to you and i let us continue to trust the word of god in these circumstances in the lockdown situations in a business that is falling apart situations 
probably in difficulties in marriage, in relationship. Why don't we allow the Word of God to start rooting in our hearts so that the Word of God will produce the fruit that we can enjoy? God wants us to have joy's full life. God wants us to have abundant life. God wants us to be fruitful in this life. God wants our marriage to be fruitful. God wants our relationship to be fruitful and our life to be blessed. But that can only be fruitful when the seed falls on the right ground. And the right ground is our heart. Let the Word of God work in our heart. Let us step out by faith and we will enjoy the fruit from the potential, from the miracle, from the power of the Word of God. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father God, I pray for my brothers and sisters. Father God, I don't know what circumstances, I don't know what situations that they are in right now. I don't know what the type of needs that they want to have, that they need in life. But Father God, what I know is that you have been giving us seeds that will produce fruits, the fruits that, that are necessary for our life. Father God, I strongly believe in your word, Father God, that can change our circumstances. Your word has power. Your word can separate thoughts, Father God, and our heart, Father God. I pray that it doesn't matter what circumstances we are in right now. I pray that my brothers and sisters and I, Father God, choose to stand strong on your word. Choose to stand strong and believe and act according to your word. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and see you next week.